Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Joyroot Joju. This is the third video in Microsoft 365 tutorial series. In previous videos, we have discussed all these points like explore Microsoft 365 cloud environment, configure your Microsoft 365 organization profile, and settings for SharePoint, OneDrive, and for Microsoft Teams. So all these points we have covered in our previous video. If you have not watched that video, I recommend you to please do watch that first before watching this. So in today's session, we are focusing on enable unified audit logging in Microsoft 365. Let's discuss about enable unified audit logging in Microsoft 365. Unified audit logging is a feature in Microsoft 365. It's a feature of Microsoft 365 that allow you to track and record user and admin activities. So once if you enable it, you will be able to track and record user and admin activities across various services and applications, such, such as Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, OneDrive, Teams, Power BI, and Microsoft Entra ID. So once if you enable this uh, unified audit logging, what you will be able to do, you will be able to track and record all the user and admin activities across various services and applications. With unified audit logging, you can monitor and investigate security incidents, compliance violations, and operational issues. You can also generate audit reports and alert based on specific events and criteria. The unified audit log pro provides a centralized collection of audit events related to Microsoft 365. So the unified audit log provides a centralized collection of audit events related to Microsoft 365. It, en it encompasses activities such as file downloads from SharePoint or OneDrive, user sign-ins and administrative actions. You can access audit log through Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal. So I will practically see where you can view audit log and what all searches you can do it in the audit log in uh, Microsoft Purview or Compliance Portal. So if you enable this unified audit logging in Microsoft 365, it helps us to achieve some benefits such as enhanced security and compliance by detecting and responding to suspicious or unauthorized activities such as data breaches, malware attacks or policy violations the other benefit is something like improve operational efficiency and performance by identifying and resolving issues such as configuration errors service outages or user feedback the third advantage is nothing but gain insight and visibility into user behavior and preferences by analyzing and reporting on user actions such as file accessing sharing collaboration or communications so this audit log captures wide range of activities including application administrative act activities microsoft defender for identity activities and some custom searches now we do not have to enable this uni unified audit logging in microsoft 365 it is by default uh, it is enabled uh, for microsoft 365 organization but earlier we had to uh, enable it from the portal or through powershell or some uh, uh, or cloud shell we can we have to enable unify audit logging but nowadays uh, it is automatically turned on by default in microsoft 365 organization so however when setting up a new microsoft 365 organization you should begin by verifying the auditing status for your organization so uh, even if it is by default it is turned on as an administrator it is your duty to verify it whether it is turned on or not because this is a platform where unified audit logging is possible all right this is all about unified audit logging what is unified audit logging what are advantages we have and some features about audit log now we will practically see this in the portal we are in the microsoft 365 admin center here if you Console, we have a compliance portal on that. That will take us to Microsoft Purview page. And here under solutions, here in the left left hand side blade, here under solution, you have auditing. So here, if it looks like this, you can 
understand that this is enabled by default okay in some cases this audit logging may not be uh, enabled uh, so it will show a ribbon like a, uh, a blue color ribbon will show like this and it will be saying you that start recording user and admin activities so you have to click here and start the recording activities for user and admin activities as i told you by default it will be enabled in the organization nowadays so that will look like this so here you uh, here you can mention the date and time uh, the auditing you required so for example if you want from september 1st till date you can select the uh, date and time range and if you want to specify one particular user activities that you can mention it here for example uh, we have a user called Murali. If you want, if you want to specifically see some activities, what uh, this particular user has done, here you can do it. Right. So let let me just search it. So now it is in progress. Uh, it, it it may take some time to uh, generate all the reports related to that particular user. Let's wait. As I told you, this is unified audit logging where you can track and record users and admin activities across various services and applications such as Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, OneDrive, Teams, Power BI, and Microsoft Android. So here we have searched all the details about one particular user called Murali and that particular search has completed. So now let's see what data we have here. And as it's a test environment, we do not have much data performed, oh my God, for this particular user. So I have searched same thing with some other user here, uh, which between one between one day. So for my ID, so if you check it, you could see all the detail, all the activities that I did it in different that that particular user had did it in different uh, applications and uh, across various services. Uh, he has logged into Teams exchange items some aggregation he has done it then azure active directory uh, system logon he has done and only these activities as it's a test environment we get only very few activities related to this particular user if it consider if it was in a production environment and we are searching activities of one particular user you will get all the activities of that particular user that he has conducted in different applications and services like exchange online sharepoint teams all the applications and services so that is uh, a brief idea about audit search what you can as i told you what you can do you can create a tenant and uh, and ex and explore all these options which microsoft offers to us all right so that that was all about enable unified audit logging in microsoft 365 so after that we have complete your tenant configuration in microsoft 365 let me click on that so what, what at the end of this session what they say you have to create as an administrator you have to create a checklist and follow that checklist and make sure we have completed all the tasks related to tenant configuration first before we move to anything else in the microsoft 365 so with this chapter with this video we have completed the first module in ms102 which is deploy and manage microsoft 365 tenant so in the other video we will be starting manage uses and groups so we will meet in the other video with the next module with manage users and groups. Till then, goodbye.